Liam, how do, how do you feel after what is an absolutely great win for your team? Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, I've just said to the lads there. Sometimes, you know, you don't, you're not destined, you know, you don't deserve to play well every week. You don't at all, you know, but what you can do is work hard. And if you do do that, you know, on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you'll get your rewards. And I felt we did that tonight, you know, I think going on from Saturday, you know, that, that's probably Saturday's result, to be fair, and, and Rochdale have felt that. Um, but the lads, you know, they're stuck to the task. Um, Rochdale, um, you know, they played some good football in the first half and it took us a while to, 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 get, um, to get involved. But then when we did the second half, you know, we kept the, kept the ball in front of us and, you know, we broke up play quite well and we, and we counted really well on them, um, which, which we spoke about half-time. But then, I mean, there's, there's two fantastic, well, three fantastic goals to win a game there. And like I said, we, you know, for, for, I think for the last month we've deserved that. It wasn't a great spectacle <coughs> until... Lee Mullen, you entered stage left. Have you ever seen an impact like that from a sub before? No, just just on the bench before the final whistle and somebody said to me, you know, that's probably the best 20 minutes that I've witnessed in football. Uh, the lad's come on, you know, he's, he's, um, he's not played the last couple of games, but that's what you want. He's a great player. You know, he's got he's got all the attributes and, you know, he, that that's how to react. That's what you want. Uh, the first goal's fantastic. The free kick's up there as well. And then he's put the, put a cross on a sixpence for the lads and to make it 3-0. Um, you know, we asked the lads to go and, go and affect the game, and he certainly did that. Is that what you call taking your frustration out on your opponents? Definitely. You know, he's been dying to play. You know, we've had a couple of chats, and like I said, he's a, he's a, he's a quality player. We've just we've just put a couple of performances in where we've you know we've stuck with the same team. And you know, I said before the game, there's there's a few lads on the bench I'd like to play. You know, I would genuinely like to put them in. And you know, man for man, we thought we were better than them um, on the night before the game and you know 3 nil t- tells you that we've uh, you know we've we've scored scored three more and we've we've uh, we've took the game to him. You scratch your head a lot this season at how you've not scored in games will will Keith Hill perhaps be scratching his head and, and thinking how they've lost 3-0? <clears throat> I think so. I mean you know they they had a lot of possession but didn't create a lot of chances. You know they played a, played some nice football, you know it's pleasing to watch but again I thought we defensively dealt with it um especially in the second half. Um, uh, you know, even, the, in the, even in the first half, I thought we had the better half chances. But then, you know, as the game wore on, you know, the gaps opened up and they got a little bit tired. I thought we counted on them really well. Confidence is a massive thing in, in football. It, it just appeared to me like once you got the first goal, your players grew in stature. Yeah, definitely. And it's it's been coming. You know, you can see it growing through the squad. Like I said, you know, end of January we added a few players. It was. It's always going to take a couple of weeks for them to come together. You know, we've got a squad in there now, uh, and the beliefs there. You know, we've got great belief through the squad. You know, even we've picked up a couple of injuries tonight, but we've been able to to replace them. You know, like for like, which which is fantastic, which is great for myself and and the team. You know, it, it doesn't weaken us at all, as you've seen. You know, Tom Aldred, Lee Molyneux, and uh, I mean, Ingan- Linganzi comes on, and you know, it, it, it makes us just the same. Um, and if we if we progress well, you know, if we get a back to back win. You know that means everything for us. There might have been some eyebrows raised when you've been talking about being positive and keeping <coughs> things upbeat on on the run that you've been on. Is is it a vindication tonight? This this you know last 20 minutes of, of your attitude throughout. I think so. Like I said uh, previously, you know, I'm not naive enough. We we must win games. We must. But you know when when you believe in what you do, I'm confident in what I'm doing. You know I I do I do have a lot of self belief, um, and I'm you know, I'm filtering that through to the lads. And if, like I said, if you work hard, you know you get you get your rewards, whether it's today, tomorrow, or or the next time. Uh, and that's what we've been doing. You know, we've not changed anything. We've been dead, dead confident, been dead professional. And if you carry on doing that, you know, we'll, we'll be okay.